What's going on guys? Aaron here from Curls in the Rack. Today I want to do a quick video on adding some numbers to your rack. Let's get started. Now there's a couple different ways that you can do this and I've tried numbering them with stickers, writing on here squat, bench, and so forth. Uh, but those tend to get ripped up by the J-hooks. And uh, there's, there's another way you can uh, line these up is, is just counting each time. If you want to take 45 minutes to line everything up and then hope that you don't get the bar on there wrong, put the weight on it and then go, what the heck, and have to take it all off and redo it again. There's nothing worse than that, nothing more frustrating. You're already putting all your energy into your workout. You don't want to have to do that. So uh, I found the best way to do it because my handwriting sucks is to get some stencils and then just use a little bit of spray paint and then number them all on each side. And then after you do that, you can even say, for example, hole number four uh, is squat, is where I put it so that it lines up perfectly so I can unrack it when I'm doing a squat. So you can just have a little cheat sheet over on the side on your, on your uh, uh, white erase board, and that works for me. Okay, so some supplies you're going to need for the job. So you're going to need some sort of stencils. I got mine off Amazon. I'll put the links in the description. I got a two inch stencil for the top portion where I did the numbers, and I got a one inch stencil for the bottom portion where I did the letters. Uh, you wanna get masking tape so you can attach the stencils to the rack, uh, and also so you don't get paint everywhere. The, you don't want paint. Uh, you wanna get a spray paint with a primer. That way you don't have to prime it first, and then do the spray paint and just save some time. You wanna get some goof off or goof gone or whatever uh, because if you spray a little bit too much in the stencil, it will start to run down, especially since I already have my rack up. Obviously, gravity is going to pull the paint down. If you know, or if you're just first getting your rack and you got it on the ground, you know, and you haven't put it up yet, I recommend doing this before you put it up. It's the best way to do it. But hey, um, I'm not going to take the rack down, do it, and then put it back up. That's too much work. So uh, if you use goof off, if you make a mistake, when you take a little rag and you, uh, uh, it won't eat through the powder coated portion of your rack. It'll just remove the paint. And the quicker you do it, the better. Uh, a mask, you don't want to be breathing in spray paint. That's no bueno. And cardboard, you'll see how I have it in the, in the uh, video here for protecting the rack and also holding up as a kind of a, to block paint from going everywhere else because it will fly. Okay, so I went ahead and uh, remove one of the numbers that I wasn't happy with so I could give an example of, uh, of the taping process and all that stuff but just make sure you get the tape on there really really well because it will find its way into any kind of crevice it can find the paint the paint will get everywhere especially since you're working against gravity here uh, so make sure you get it on there press press real tight uh, you can get a level if you want them exact, kind of put them on top of the stencil, and then you can, and then you can kind of put your finger there and uh, tape it up. Uh, I recommend also getting as many as you can on there. I'm obviously just doing one, so I'm just doing the, uh, just doing the one. But get as many as you can on there that we can go down the line. I also did the pull down machine with black, black on the silver. It didn't look quite as good as I was hoping for, but uh, they show up if you get close. So that's all I needed. And as you can see, I'm a little heavy handed on this. Less is more. So you can always go back and add more later. It's a really good idea just to do one one spray, one light spray. The cardboard just cut out the uh, the width of the of the footing of your of your um, rack and then you can just slide it in there because the paint will get all over and especially if you have black mats like me it'll show up with that white paint. Get a piece of cardboard, cut out the right size hole because the paint will fly. And 
20 minutes, it should be ready. I mean, it's not completely dried, but it, well enough for you to pull the stencil off and to kind of see what it looks like if it needs more paint. If it doesn't need more paint, just let it dry. If you mess up on one, and this is going to be a lot easier if you do this right away. It's been about a year since I put these on, so it obviously took me a lot longer to remove this. Uh, the Goo Gone's not going to go through your powder coat. It's just going to take the paint off the top, which is nice. Uh, so eventually, I had to scrub it a lot because it's you know a year later, but it should take away the speckles on the outside. So you can wipe it off, let it dry for a minute, and then um, you can go ahead and repaint it. Or if you just need the edges taken off and it looks good enough and not too faded, then just keep it as is. But if you put the goo on and leave it for like five minutes, it'll start to eat that a little bit. It'll be much easier to wipe away. And that is basically the gist of putting numbers on the rack. That's how I did it. Maybe there are better ways out there, but that's the way that worked for me, and uh, I am pretty happy with it. If you like the video or if I helped you out at all, please make sure to hit that like button. Uh, hit the subscribe button. Hit the notifications button. I'm going to have new videos coming soon most likely product reviews and head over to the website we got free workout plan 12 week workout plan over there also you can buy apparel and a bunch of other stuff over there tons of videos too all right peace